Hi, hello beautiful people. My name is Lauren and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here because today we are getting my life back on track and we are planning my April TBR. So I apologize, but I did not film a March TBR. I haven't even filmed for the entire month of March, so I haven't had any content go up. The end of February and like the first two thirds of the month of March were a little weird for me. I was kind of experiencing some burnout and then everything was so busy that when I did try to like take breaks and practice some self care, it just kind of pushed everything back for me and made it, everything a little more hectic. But I'm finally starting to catch up on everything at work, at home. And so here we are getting ready to prepare for the month of April. I definitely had some lessons learned from the month of March. I need to for, for sure do a better job of taking my planned days off and making those truly days where I relax and kind of recenter myself. So I'm definitely taking those little things that I've learned into account. I've planned very carefully for the month of April. So I'm hoping that everything will go off without a hitch. Now I will say I am taking a week of vacation in the month of April with my husband. We're going to go to the beach and I am so excited, so thrilled to have this week where we can just go and relax and just, you know, get away from everything for a little while and just kind of recuperate. And I'm definitely going to be taking some books. I've already got an idea of what I'm doing for that. And I'm definitely going to be putting up a vlog, which I have already planned out my videos for the month of April as well. And I am very happy to tell you that I have seven videos planned to come out in the month of April. I feel very confident in being able to get those out. There's a few vlogs, which are some of my favorite things to film um, and edit. The only thing is I'm very bad at figuring out like when I need to plan to have a book finished in order to have the vlog up by the time it's done. But I have really put some thought into my planning for the month and I am very, very excited about that. As for my month's TBR, I've already kind of given it some thought. I did make a list of books that I knew that I needed to get to because obviously in order to plan that content, I had to kind of work around this list of books that I had planned to read and make sure that I could fit everything into a month. That's something else that I'm really working on as well. Um, but I can tell you two of the books that I have. I'm not going to tell you what they are, um, but I do have two books from my physical TBR. They're from the same author that I will be doing a vlog on and it will be coming out in April. So you won't have to wait very long to figure out what I'm talking about. I would be very interested to know if anyone has a guess, but I do own two of the books. I can tell you that one of the books is very, very well loved by booktube and another book is one of the author's older backlist titles that isn't talked about as much, but does get some pretty positive feedback when people do love it. I know those are vague hints, but I would be very interested to see if anybody can guess what author I'm going to be reading from and vlogging. Now, I haven't really been participating in like the book clubs and stuff that I'm in in the last couple of months just because the books I don't either own or they haven't been a priority. So I've just been trying to do better about not pressuring myself to read something that may not be a priority for my for me right now, something I'm not very interested in. In the month of April though, we are reading Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey for the Lou Phantasma pick, which is Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte and Mel Reads um, joined book club for their Patreons. And I haven't yet read It Happened One Summer, but I do own It Happened One Summer. So I'm going to be taking this and Hook, Line, and Sinker on that week of vacation that I take. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. I do have my little trusty spreadsheet up here. I need to pull up Goodreads over on this side. So I own It Happened One Summer, but I don't own Hook, Line, and Sinker. So I'm going to look and see if I can snag it anywhere without having to buy it right off the bat. But if I'm not able to get it somewhere without purchasing it, then that's fine. I could probably find it pretty quickly at a bookstore where we're going. So I just had a bit of an like aha moment and realized that I did talk about it happened one summer in my five star predictions, I'm pretty sure. So what I'll probably do for that is just take it out of the cup. Um, I do plan on doing a vlog for that in the month of May. So 
that will be coming soon. But just to talk about what these two books are about, they are a part of a duology, like companion novels. And it happened one summer. It's supposed to be like based off of Schitt's Creek, but I've never watched that show. So I don't really know. But I do know that the main character is a girl who has gotten into some trouble. She's like a rich party girl, socialite type thing. And she gets into some trouble. And so her stepdad and mom decide to send her to this like little fisherman town in Washington, I'm pretty sure, where her biological father who passed away years before had a business. And they're sending her there to like learn some responsibility and take over this business. And while she's there, she meets this really grumpy fisherman and she's like the total opposite of him. She's super bubbly and they kind of clash. And then eventually they turn it into a romance. This was a lot of people's favorite romance book of 2021. So I'm very, very excited to get to it. So when they chose Hook, Line, and Sinker for the Lou from Tasma book club pick. I knew that I wanted to go ahead and get into this one. And then Hook, Line, and Sinker follows the sister from the first book. And I don't know much more about the plot, except I believe this is like a friends to lovers. Um, and they end up having to be roommates for some reason. And they're like, there's some mutual pining going on, I think. But I've been hearing really good things so far. This one is a newer release. I think it just came out in February or March. So I'm just now like starting to hear people's thoughts as they're picking it up and people have been really enjoying it. So I'm really looking forward to picking those up. The only other books I've read by Tessa Bailey was Window Shopping and I really, really enjoyed that. I love the way she wrote her characters and she had some really good like humor and stuff in Window Shopping. So I'm really looking forward to getting to these two. As for other Buddy Read picks, we are going to be reading A Pinch of Magic for Mel's Patreon. I'm probably going to listen to this on audiobook if I can find it. So I'm going to go ahead and check Scribd and my Libby to see if I can find the audiobook for it because I probably wouldn't read it physically because this is a middle grade. I believe it follows like a group of sisters or friends or something and they're kind of like discovering their own magic okay so it doesn't look like it's on scribd but I just thought this might be like a light-hearted read to pick up when I'm working um let me look at goodreads and see if I'm looking at the right author I guess this is her okay so I lied that is the right book um there's just a different cover the cover I've seen looks like this one here this is the book so I'm going to save that. Like this cover just screams like whimsical and that is just the vibe. I, um, but let's look at the synopsis for this. Okay, so I was right. It is about three sisters. They go on a quest to break the curse that's haunted their family for generations. And it has a really good average rating on Goodreads. So very excited to pick up that audiobook. Another book club that I'm in is the Why Haven't I Read This Yet book club for Lucy over at Looney Lucy and I will be sure to link her down below. Um, you've probably heard me mention this book club before. There is a discord for it where we can talk about it. Lucy does a live show for the book at the end of the month or at the start of the next month. A Discovery of Witches is the book for March and I'm not going to get to it in March but Lucy did say she's probably pushing the live show for that one to the end of April. So I'm going to pick it up in April. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it before she plans for the live show just because a lot of these other books are having to be done towards the start of the month. So this may be one I'm picking up towards the end of the month, but maybe I can get to it plus the sequel before the live show for the sequel comes out. I'm going to add a discovery of witches on here and I think I'm going to get that one from Libby if they have it and they do I have to put a hold on it okay two weeks that's fine place the hold a discovery of witches from what I know about it it is a book written by Deborah Harkness and she is a historian so there is a lot of like history going on and I think it takes place at like a university but I do know that there is a romance between a witch and a vampire and they're supposed to be enemies in this world. Um, it's also a really long book. It's like 600 something pages but I have heard really good things about it and I do know there's also a TV show that I'm definitely interested in 
checking out so I was very excited to see that that one was picked for the book club for that month. Um, Lucy's book club is focusing on like series that people have been saying they were going to get to or finish and just haven't. So it's a really fun book club. I highly recommend you check it out. Like I said, she will be linked below so you can see all the details on that and find the discord to join in on discussions with us. And of course, we're still on our journey to go through the entire Shadowhunters Chronicles. So in the Shadowhunters world, we are finishing the Mortal Instruments series this month in March. Next month, we're supposed to pick up the Bane Chronicles. And then the following month, we're supposed to pick up Tales from the Shadowhunters Academy. So we're following this reading order and I made a little graphic to put up so that you can see my rating so far on the reading order we've been going in. There's definitely some that could probably be tweaked as I'm trying to like, you know, fine tune my rating system. <laughs> These are pretty accurate to how I felt about the books. Um, it's interesting that the second half of the Mortal Instruments has been lackluster for me. Very, very excited to get to some of her more recent releases. I've heard people say recently that the Tales from the Shadowhunters Academy is one they really, really enjoyed. I own the Bane Chronicles on my Kindle because of a vlog that I had planned to do previously like several months ago and never followed through on. So I have read a little bit of it but I'm going to go back and read it again um, start from the beginning because I only read like the first one or two stories but it's basically some short stories that have to do with Magnus, Bain, and the shenanigans that he gets into over the years. It usually ties into something that maybe he mentioned like in another book and so it's a great little tidbit to just like get more insight into what he's talking about and what he's been through and Magnus is obviously one of my favorite characters in the entire series and I know he's a really beloved character throughout the entire Shadowhunters Chronicles so I'm very excited to read these especially after rereading the mortal instruments and having read the infernal devices because it'll give me that insight again into magnus's character and i can just kind of you know go back into these stories and love them for what they are which is just kind of like little fan fiction tidbits in my opinion but what i plan to do instead of just focusing on this book for the month of april i'm going to read one of the short stories like here and there plan to read maybe like you know a couple of weeks or something until i'm finished and then i'll read a tale the tales from the shadow hunter academy in its entirety for the month of april as well i'm pretty sure that i can get Tales from the Shadowhunters Academy from Libby. There is an audiobook and that is the way I'm like, whoa, no, that's not right. That's not the right thing. <laughs> that's like really short. Okay, so no, my Libby doesn't have it. What the heck? Great. Let's see if it's on Scribd. I mean, I highly doubt it. <gasps> it is. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna save it on Scribd. Awesome, okay. And honestly, like, you can't even really know the synopsis of Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy because it will, like, spoil things from the original Mortal Instruments series if you haven't read it. But I can tell you that it follows a character from that series and it is a, like, compilation of short stories by a few different authors. One, namely, that I'm, like, familiar with is Maureen Johnson who wrote the Truly Devious series. So I'm very excited to get into that and get some more insight to this character. And like I said, a lot of people really, really love that book in particular. So very interested to see how that goes. Now, since I'm going on that week of vacation, I figured I would take, you know, those two books for like some little summer beachy reads. But I also have a couple of other books for my physical TBR because I was looking at this list of books and I was like, mm, I'm not quite tackling my physical TBR like I want to. So I wanted to look at it and figure out what books were really appealing to me. The obvious choice, since I am going to the beach and I still haven't read this, you could probably say it with me, but it is Beach Read by Emily Henry. The fact that I haven't read this yet and I still call Emily Henry like my favorite author right now is quite insane, um, especially because her book coming out, Book Lovers, is like my most anticipated of the year. But I feel like it is only fitting that I take this with me on vacation and 
devour it while I'm sitting in a beach chair next to the ocean. What I know about Beach Read is it follows two authors and they each write a different type of genre. January is the female main character and she writes romance and Gus he is the male main character and I believe he writes more like general fiction and the two of them are kind of like rivals and I think they end up like seeing each other and this little beach town their beach houses are neighboring I believe or something and they're like out one day and they're just like well I bet you can't write what I write like you don't understand how it goes and they end up making this bet to like swapped genres and so January is going to teach him how to write romance and he's going to teach her how to write uh general fiction and obviously with like the romance there's probably going to be some like dates and little romantic elements and I cannot wait I know that this too has like an emotional impact because January's father has passed away and so she's dealing with that grief and I'm very interested to see how that's portrayed as well but I just know with the way Emily Henry's writing is just so beautiful and just touched me so much and people we made on vacation that I'm going to absolutely love picking this up on my own vacation. So the next book that I am hoping to get to on that vacation, I don't know if it's going to be possible. It definitely depends on how much downtime we allow ourselves to have um, because obviously, you know, we're going to be out doing some touristy things and stuff like that um, and spending some time together. So I don't know if four books is a little too ambitious, but I do want to try to get to Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is one that I talked about recently in my if I love this book, will I like this book too? Because this one has very strong, it has a very strong likeness to people we meet on vacation in the way that it follows two people who were formerly best friends and something happened that kind of tore them apart and they haven't spoken in years. And then something brings them together again and they're kind of having to grapple with what happened to them all those years ago. This also has dual timelines similar to people we meet on vacation where we do get to see their friendship grow and blossom over the years and then ultimately probably see what happened to tear them apart and I've heard that this one can get pretty emotional as well. I have enjoyed some Christina Lauren in the past but none of them have really just packed a huge punch for me. They're just they've all just been kind of average so far but I've heard really really good things about this one. I've heard it's a really great friends to lovers story which I've been growing to love a lot so I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully getting to this one on the week of vacation. So I've got those two added to the spreadsheet and that is pretty much all the ones that I have plus the two that I'm keeping a secret from you because of the vlog. I can tell you that one comes out like the middle of the month so you won't have to hold out too long but I know a few people are going to be very excited when they see it. Oh wait I haven't added a discovery of witches to my spreadsheet so let me go pull that one. Hi so while editing this I realized like the very end clip of me like wrapping up this video cut off and I realized when I was filming and so I like refilmed the very tail end of it but I guess it cut off sooner than I realized but my spreadsheet spreadsheet did end up looking like this and I ultimately ended up with eight books plus the two that I'm not telling you about for my physical TBR. So I will be reading five books from my physical TBR including these three um, and I am so very excited to finally get to these. These are some of my most anticipated books to pick up so I'm very very excited about that and as for all the other ones on my TBR obviously I'm very much anticipating those especially A Discovery of Witches considering how many good things I've heard about it but yeah that is my April TBR and I am so excited to be back in the game and putting up videos again after a month hiatus. As always, I want to make sure you read the description where I have links to different resources and also channel links down there for any YouTubers I may have mentioned in this video. But as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high.